Okay, video started back up. We are still at a minute 51, or an hour, 51 minutes, and 3, 4, 5 seconds. Let's go on to the Indomitable Warriors of Unwavering Loyalty. Go back into 5-star duel. My deck. And random. Going seconds. So I think I've lost... Is it three times now that I've lost in this little thing? Which, I mean, it's whatever. I mean, it's bound to happen and you draw that hand sometimes or you play wrong, which I have. I'm going second, though. Let's see what they try and do. Ooh. Yeah, forget your back row and I can go into... Oh, what have you done? Must set spell cards before activating them. You son of a gun. So here's what... Do this. We're just going to try and go for it. Forget it, we're just going to go for it. I don't know what his other card is, but we'll see. Oh, wait! We can't because we have to set them. Um, dang. Okay. Wow. That's fine. I can't attack directly anyways. So let's do this. Let's set you. We're going to set you. Set you. And let's go into battle. Because I can't... Well, there's a sick so I can for active them. I cannot activate them until their next turn after setting them. Just attack. Main phase two. No, I'll let you have that spell, that trap card for now. But hopefully you're going to lose it here in just a minute. Ah, oh, that one card. There we go. Oh. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. You can do that, it's fine. Go. It's at Goblin Berg. Okay, he can't attack directly though. It's the only downside. Let's see, I need four thousand eight hundred. Let's do this. If I go oh I can't do that other thing, so never mind. Never mind. Let's bring out you. Let's go into, yeah, Light Dragon. Because what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into Zeus uh, with Utopia, since we can't really do anything with it. And then we'll go from there. Okay, attack with Utopia. Destroy that. Oh, dang it. And main phase two. Let's go into Zeus. Okay, we're at an hour, 55 minutes, 22 seconds. In turn. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we'll see what we draw. If I draw something good, we may just go ahead and clear the board. I did not. Oh, that's fine. That's all that it was. We're good. I don't care. That's fine. Uh, 
Um, what we wanted to, I mean, pff, can't summon any monsters. <laughs> Uh, could activate his effects. Just a graveyard. Activate your effects. Get rid of that. Trap card again. Hopefully, he didn't draw another one of those. Watch my columns. Battle. Another Sheen foot soldier. Nope. Nice. And destroy. And hopefully, we win next turn, but we shall see. Doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's just go for win. Nice. Okay. We're at an hour, 57 minutes, 26, 27 seconds. Let's back out now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Getting close to the end. Okay, we're on the danger files now. So we've got one, two, and then I think like six more. So I think we have like eight more duels. We're on my deck now. Let's go ahead and go to the danger. Random. Going second, okay. Let's see what they bring out. Okay, not too bad. Can definitely work with what this is. He's sent into the graveyard. Brought him out, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't want that. Oh, wait, which one? Oh, no, it was a, it was a four star. There's one deck that had, like, viruses that I was not fond of. Sure, adding tons of cards to their graveyard. They definitely had a good hand with the uh, danger cards. What did he just do? Do anything on my turn? I also don't know if they can do anything on my turn. What what can they do? What is this? Do they have any type of defense right now? One thousand attack. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's do this. Who do we want to add? We want to add. Just add Torfun. Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to activate Mahatatsu. Send Quill into the graveyard. Let's go ahead and activate this. Get rid of you. And then we're gonna summon Torafun. Activate this. Let's bring out you. Bring out you. And then let's go ahead and bring out you. Just in case. Come on. Now over the two hour mark, we're at two hours, 47 seconds. Okay. 
pretty sure we just attack here for a win, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Activate effects. Let's do that. Bring out Utopia. I'm going to check his effect one more time. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So now we go to battle. Let's just attack this Mothman. Activate your effects. Detach. Activate a card. Card activated. Attack again. Do not. And boom. Nice. Okay. So we're good there. move on. Okay. Got the Sacred Phoenix of Neftis. We just completed this a little, I think, yesterday. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Random. Okay. And I'm going first. Okay. Honestly, I can't really do anything. So let's just go ahead and in turn let them do what they need to do. Then we'll play Dragoonity Rollwind and try and uh, summon something out. Probably Ascalon, depending on what they have. When I played it before, they didn't even get to use any of this incantation or. Uh, yeah, imp, imp cantation cards. So I'm not sure what exactly they do. I went first. Okay. Well, thankfully, let's do this. go into let's see yeah, let's go into Ascalon and then first things first let's freaking get rid of that card Then let's summon Guizarm. Guizarm can bring back a Legatus. And then we can go into Arid Behair. Or sorry, we have to go to Golden Kabar and then Arid Behair. Once we bring these guys out, 
we can go ahead and go into Armor Graham and then finish the duel. Come on. Uh, we're gonna get rid of one of you and one of you. Just one of each, just in case. Okay, let's finish this. There's definitely better decks out there, um, you know, that specifically focus on Dragoonity. You know, I've seen some of those. Um, same thing with Bujin, like if they specifically stick to one of those two archetypes. But because I like them so much, that's why I combined it. Um, and like I said before, this deck is definitely not the best deck. It's not a meta deck. It's not a competitive deck. It is literally just a deck that, that I like to play. It's, it's a deck of my two favorite archetypes, and I like it. It definitely does good in the solo runs. It does good for casual play for me. Um, I do lose, I do brick, but that's fine, you know? Okay, we're on the final part, SP Tech Challenge. We are on two hours, seven minutes, one, two, three seconds. We've got 16 minutes in the video. Hopefully, we'll be ending this pretty soon. I think we have six duels in this last part. Oh, crap. Um, okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to sacrifice the Raigeki. For a Guise Arm. Uh, sorry, Raigeki. Let's get Guise Arm. And we're going to go into Ariba Hair, equip it. Oh, you son of a gun. Okay. That's fine. You can max see all you want. I do not care. Gormfabar into Arid Behar. Or sorry. Yeah. Bees arm into Gormfabar into a, a, a Reed Behar. Blah, blah, blah. It's a mouthful. Okay, let's grab that one. Oh no, do not activate that. I'm just clicking away there. Read the hair. Grab that. Let's bring you out. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to activate Dragoonity Lance. Bring up his attack. Set Solemn. During your main phase, you equip. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and equip another Guise Arm. And end it there. And let's see what they try and do. He has a huge hand, so... Let's see what they try. Crap. Okay, that's fine. Still fine. Um, okay. I'll let you do that. I might go into Malevolent Sin. Yep. Can't let you do that. Sorry. Okay. So... Now here's what we want to do. Dragonity Glow. Ooh. Let's do this. Let's activate this. Let's get the other Gwee's Arm. Oh, what do I want to do here? Beast. No, you know what? I need to get rid of that back row. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do this. Send Dragoonity Glow. Get Legatus. We're going to grab Legatus. Activate your effect. Summon. 
get one of you. Now, we want Igneister. I don't know what that back row is, and I don't trust it. I forgot what traps they have. Um, so I just want to get rid of it. Okay, that was a waste. Okay, that's fine. Oh, but we can do this. We can go Trinity Glow, and then we can go into Ascalon. And we'll be at 70... 73. 12 plus 29. Ugh. I should have went into... No, 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 never mind. Because I didn't have Dragoonity Glow, I couldn't uh, get him from my hand. So that was, that was a good play, that was a good play. What does he have? During Jamie Country, the player would take on you need to make another Pentium Dodge for the battle. Oh crap, I should have destroyed that card. Holy crap. What does Goki Pole do? Protect your hand, then if you have no monster, you can special summon it, then destroy a monster on the field with attack greater than or equal to Yeah, forget that noise. Block it. So essentially I can't attack while that field spells on the field. Crap. Oh, uh, okay. Crap. We need to get rid of that field spell. Bujin Mahatatsu, but we do not have... Oh. Um, activate effect. Need cows. Here's the thing is like what do I have that can destroy that? The only thing I have is uh, spells and other stuff. I could go into Zeus, except I don't have a uh, level four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this guy. Can't really play you just yet, so that's fine. In turn. Dang, I should have paid more attention to that. I wouldn't have potentially grabbed Ascalon, but we'll see. Oh, crap. Oh, he just grabbed another one. Okay. Spell card, I can't do anything with it. Oh, dang it. Let's do this. Activate effect. So we'll dragon monster from your deck to the graveyard. That would be can't do anything with it though. I've already got Igneister in the graveyard. Who do we want?
don't have anything that can destroy. Oh. I don't have anything that can destroy his freaking card. Okay. Here's what we're going to do, though. We're going to go into Adagnister. Oh, I mean, there's no... That would be a horrible idea, actually. Let's go into Romulus. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. I don't know why I put Mahatatsu in that mode. Oh, crap. Let's do this. Let's just go ahead and get rid of his card again. Oh, my God. Oh, what the heck? Fields of the Graveyard. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one level 5 or higher insect monster from your deck to your hand. If this card is banished, you can send only someone from your deck to the graveyard. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and block that. Card left. In turn. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh. This deck is taking forever to beat because I, for I, I misplayed. I should have destroyed that card instead of his face down. And that's where we're at right now. He's just going to attack me. Or not? What is he doing? Oh, okay. Fine, you guys can attack. Oh, there's no point in doing that because he would just play the other one. This just keeps getting good. Oh my gosh.
this point, I really just want to... Like, just get rid of the freaking thing. Because I can't attack. Because whenever I attack... Now your player taking balance from it. And if you do send one level four lower summary from your deck to the graveyard, then if you send a normal monster to this, you can special summon any number of monsters with that same name as your deck your Control is sent to the graveyard by opponent's card effect. The damage step. Special summon one insect normal monster from your graveyard. And so it's essentially just a continuous defense spell, and that's so freaking annoying. Oh, I literally can't do anything until I get a Bujin Mahatatsu or a Bujin Torafun. I haven't touched any Bujin cards. Once I get a Bujin card, we're fine. Thank you. Oh my gosh. This duel is finally officially freaking over. Unless he has some other freaking Speller Trap card that I'm not aware of. You know what? We're going to do this. Go into Susanoo. And then with Susanoo. No, we don't want that. Let's send Quillen to send Centipede to the graveyard. Let's go ahead and use Centipede first. Destroy whatever that card is. And then let's use Quillen to destroy his stupid freaking field spell. And let's finish this up. Oh my gosh. All it takes is one misplay, and it costs you, what was that, 20 minutes? <sighs> We're at 2 hours 23 minutes now for that one stupid freaking duel. Man, I should have read the card. That's on me, though. I can't blame anybody but myself. Okay, on my deck. This is a Barrel Dragon deck, so this is Bandit Keith. Going first. This will be interesting. Okay. So you know what we're going to do? We're actually just going to go ahead and end turn. Oh, yeah, we're gonna turn. Okay, that's fine. Because here's what we're gonna do. Each time the Dark Monster will be destroyed by battle, it's not destroyed. If you took balance from a battle, it gains that much attack after damage calculation. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of his field. Oh, that's freaking great. Let's do this instead. That. Okay. We're just going to go into Ascalon. Then uh, banishes his monster, so we don't have to worry about the field spot right now. Okay. Battle and attack. Main 
phase two, nothing. Their turn. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get rid of it. Wow. Oh well, actually, I think I get to do this. Let's bring out you. Let's see, how much do we need? I don't think I sent a Bougian card, nope. Let's activate this. Nah. So that's 36. Plus 14. Equals 5,000. Right? Yep. Battle. Let's just finish it off. Okay, we are at 2 hours, 27 minutes. This video has 36 minutes on it already, thanks to stupid freaking Weevil. Actually, it's not Weevil, it's me, so I can't get too mad. But we only have... What is that, 5 duels left? 4 duels left, we have 4 duels left. So this is Toon Kingdom, so this is going to be versus Pegasus. We're going second, interesting. Let's see what we can do. If we want to get rid of their Toon World ASAP. Because they've got a special kind of Toon World. Oh, crap. Oh, we can get Gui's Arm, though, so that's good. Oh, and the bookmark. So now, it's going to take two potential spell destructions to get rid of their Toon World. Oh, crap. Hopefully I don't bring out the Black Luster Soldier. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, what do we got? Not too bad. So here's what we're going to do. Activate this. Grab that. Uh, graveyard. Okay. So the question is here, what can we do? We need to get some type of spell destruction. We need three different spell destruction. We need we need to just try and destroy that twice. Okay, let's destroy destroy this card. Okay. We need two types of destruction going. So here's what we can do. We can do this. Activate. Bring out Quiz Arm. Then we can bring out Legatus. Now, we cannot take the, if the Tomb World is on the field, it's destroy, destroy this card. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to Monster Reborn. You. On my side of the field, we are going to then bring out Light Dragon. Oh, I don't have... It's not two times destruction, it's just destroyed twice. That was really dumb. That was actually not a good play. Actually, no, it's fine. Because we can do this. We can go into... We can still go into... Our person, because if it's not destroyed, we're banishing their card. Oh, no, I, I definitely think I, think I messed that up. That's fine. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it doesn't matter now, anyway. Dang, okay. Right. 
Okay, let's crash the music. Card effects. Okay. Oh, I can't target. Dang it. I messed up. I messed up. Oh well, we can at least get rid of one card. You know what? Let's go ahead and do this. We'll just Zeus everything. Not right now, though. Destroy destroy this card. You take your see control. Two monster. In which case, this card attack that target instead. You can attack it directly and see control. Can't turn to reach destruction. Chaos. End. Let's see what they try and do. Okay. Draw one card. That's fine. I want to see what they try and do. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Or wait a minute. They can take control of it. It is true as a tomb monster. Your opponent can two monsters. It can attack your opponent directly. If two monsters on the field, destroy this card. Uh, might as well. Phase. Nice. Okay, and we win. Come on. That's fine. Let's activate this. Banish you, you. And that gives me my 59 and a thousand. And we're good. Come on. Okay, almost there, almost there. Okay, we're at 2 hours, 34 minutes, 55, 56 seconds. Taking definitely a lot longer than I thought it was going to take, but we definitely had two different duels that, uh, sorry, three different duels that took way longer than they should have. But that was because of human error, so that's fine. This one is, I believe, the Joey deck. And they get to go first. So let's see what we try and do. T set with two cards. Great. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, wait, no. That would, can only be Dragoonity monsters. Hmm. You know what? That's fine. Let's try it. Let's go with... You know what? Yeah, let's go with Kaos. And... Yes. Let's go ahead and activate. Summon. Because, see, I can only bring out dragon monsters right now. So what we want to do is... We do want to do this. Let's send... Torafoon. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to banish... I want to see what... card they have here. 
let's just try and destroy their first one. Ooh, okay. Let's go with Ascalon. Then let's go ahead and use Ascalon's effect. Get rid of you. That's fine. Let's go with Romulus. And with Romulus, we're going to grab Dragonity Glow. I think we might have enough to kill here. Let's go ahead and bring out Armagram. Banish both of those. And let's bring out Hirume. And battle. And I think we win. Nice. So we're at 2 hours, 38 minutes, 35 seconds. We've got two duels left. One against Kaiba, and one against Yugi. Or Pharaoh, I should say. Random going first. Okay. So I'm thinking potentially Draco Future if we can, or Reed Behar. Read Bahar, however you want to say it. Okay. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and play the Dragon Ravine. Oh, nope. Let's go ahead and set the Twin Twister. And let's bring out Draco Future. Let's get Hirume. Add her to the hands. Let's go ahead and ban Mahatatsu. Let's grab Salamangrate just in case we need Light Dragon. Okay. Grab that. I don't know why I played Dragon Ravine, but oh well. Okay, we've got the Draco Future. Let's see what they try and do now. Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. summoning now wait if I destroy that does it stop it I don't think so I don't think it stops it uh oh Just do.
opponent cannot what? Cannot target this card with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Oh, dang. Okay. So here's what we want to do. So we'll drag a monster from your deck to the graveyard. Let's do that. You. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Also, cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Gotcha. But I can at least get rid of that one. Actually, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Does he target? Target when face a monster, its effects are negated. Okay, yeah, nope. That's great. Well, here's what we're gonna do we're going to. Actually, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this play now. Why am I doing this play? Because essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Why did I do that? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to battle. Take a thousand damage. Main phase two. Wait, what? He battled. can't oh well oh freaking well get rid of his freaking blue eyes oh well, this is gonna suck I should have uh, I don't even know yep goodbye I don't know why I did that I nothing I can do now because he can't be targeted. So for some reason, when I battle with this card, yeah, whatever, I'm gladly take that damage. So when I battle with the, okay, whatever, we're just going to go ahead and end the video right here because it's almost an hour. We'll pick it up here in just a second. We're at two hours, 46 minutes. We'll go ahead and call it there.